Hello everyone, it's Ed Jupe here and we're back in another 7 days to die video and I thought I would do a video inside the Harbinger Labs Harbinger or maybe it's Harbinger, I'm not sure but it's right across the road from the mall uh, I don't know how I didn't spot this before but it's right there so anyway, um, this is a POI that was built by Ryasaurus Rex and I decided let's do it It's before Alpha 19 comes rolling its way around um, I thought I would get in here and have a look around so basically it's 4 a.m. as you can see I'm fully loaded locked and loaded ready to go um, my guy is like totally pimped out he's got full level max level um, you know his game the game stage is full I've got all the guns that I would ever want and ammo and it's 4 a.m. So basically the plan is uh, we're going to go into the Harbinger Labs and check it out and hopefully clear the place. And you may have noticed it's also day 700. So there is a horde coming in. Um, so basically once we're in here, we can't leave. And that's the, that's the deal. And we don't need any brass or lead because that's not going to help us. What we need is a pickaxe right now to get into this door. And this dude is coming out for us, so we'll kill him, hopefully. And yeah, we're gonna go in here, we're gonna clear this place out, and then we are gonna do the day 700 hold and hope that we survive. Obviously my guy is hugely overpowered so we're gonna have an inordinate amount of zombies oh i hit him with the get out of it inordinate amount of zombies um i mean all the zombies that spawn here are going to be radiated i imagine and i guess who stood there with his yep so i mean already i mean we're not even in the front door yet we've got a cop this is how this thing's gonna go. This is how it's gonna go down. Uh, yeah, so I mean, this is a huge lab. Uh, basically, you know, the backstory, or if there is a backstory, I don't know, but the backstory of it is, the backstory of it is that there are, um, this is a lab, you, you know, you can go get tested for your, you know, disease, if you've got diseases, which you probably do, if there's a zombie apocalypse on its way. Uh, yeah, so you can take your loved ones here, you can get them checked out, you can get them tested. You know, probably there's a soldier coming in from outside there. Oh, that table disappeared. Um, that's fine. We don't really need tables. Boom. Headshot. Yeah, so, I mean, obviously all my guns are hugely overpowered. Um, all my stuff. I mean, I don't need any of this stuff. We're not here to loot this place. We're here to kill all the zombies before 10 p.m. Basically, that's what we're here for. So, oh shit, there's a bear in there. Jeez. Why is there a bear in the kitchen? Wow. Hey, bear. Um, <laughs> that was weird. Okay, so these are all. I mean. I feel like I need to loot these, but we don't really, because we're not really here for that. We're here to kill the zombies. So we're going to kill all the zombies. Yep, yeah, come on. Up you, up you come. I didn't bring a junk turret. Uh, I just kind of, you know, the junk turret is good, but it's, it's, when you're this high, highly powered, you don't need a junk turret. And I always forget to use it anyway, so... You know, at this level, I'm kind of like, I've got all the guns, I've got all the ammo. I've got 2,000 bullets for this gun, um, which is ridiculous. Um, so, that's what we're going to do. So we're just going to run through this building, we're going to kill everyone, hopefully. Or we're going to die trying. And, uh, and that, whoa, you bastard. And then we're gonna take on a huge horde. So, you just. Please get out of it. So, yeah. It's 
place. I like this little area here. This is like a little play zone. You could learn your alphabet here as well, which is nice. Uh, and your numbers. Oh look, yeah, nice. I mean, I that that bothered me as a child. Okay, so when I was uh, at school, we had a playground and it had numbers on the ground, and it only went up to number nine. So I'm glad that Raya decided to put a number ten in because um, that was a thing that bothered me at my primary school. I always thought, why why not go to ten? You've went to nine. Why not go with the extra one? I mean, come on. This is like the central, the garden, like the corporate, you know, we, you know, love nature. Um, there's a cop. No, quiet. Try to talk about nature. You know, the corporate thing, you know, you come into their office, they've got a huge gardeny bit that's like, oh yeah, we love children and we love nature and trees and chrysanthemums. Um, we we like juice, zomba juice, and you know, five dead guys. I mean, whoa, there's a dog. Hi, dog. Sorry, dog. Okay, he's dead. So, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, I mean, like, you know, we can get a burger, we can get a juice. Ooh, zomberry. Mmm, tasty. Berries, sham jam. Mmm, nice. Oh, god, damn the cops. Got, this place has got a high police presence. Don't you spit at me. It's very unbecoming. A man of the law. Look at you, bloated. Jeez. God. So rude. I mean that's when you're you're hungry and you're angry at the same time, so you become hangry. It's never a good feeling. I mean I've had that feeling at times. Um, it's never good. Double D. Mmm, tasty. Yep, I'll, I'm down with that. Saucy sausages. Mmm, saucy sausages. Does that mean that the sauces, I mean the sausages have sauce on them, or, you know, they're, um, the sausages are saucy, I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna go for the second one. You each get a bullet each. Which one dies first? Okay, you're both dead, good. So we've got the, the corporate zone at the bottom where you can get a snack and, you know, get your food, get your nature. You know, a bit of nature, a bit of food, natural time. You know, uh, what's this place? Barely, barely food. <laughs> so, you know, is, is it that mean it's barely edible or if it's like, let's get in this thing. No, that's going to take forever. Let's not do that. Okay, we're, we're on, we've done the first floor, I think. I mean... If we were in a survival situation, we would, you know, I mean, we are in a survival situation. But if we were, um, you know, in a real game, we would obviously loot all this stuff um, and, uh, you know, check all these things. But we don't need to do that. What we need to do is clear this place of zombies so that when the Day 700 horde comes, we don't get our asses completely kicked. Um, so I'm guessing I'm not going to go that way. That's not the way. I'm gonna go up. Uh, that's that's back down, so we don't want to go there. Okay, so this way, I suppose. Let's go. What's that over there? There's a load of birds' nests over there. We don't really need birds' nests. We haven't even got a bow. Right, there's a lot of guys in here. I mean, when the horde comes, we have no way of like protecting ourselves. We're literally just going to run around this place like a maniac. Um, right, we need to get some bigger guns out because these guys are... Um, yeah, 
We we've got no way of um headshots there. Yeah, we've got <laughs> I was saying, we've got no way of, like, uh, building a horde base or even attempting to, like, try and protect ourselves from the horde. So we're going to just literally run around. I think this whole clearing of the building is Wait. basically a way of us trying to figure out how this building works, where we can go, and um, trying not to get ourselves killed on the way, basically, so that we can eventually um, fight a horde somewhere. Those guys didn't last long. So are these like test facilities for the zombies, infected people? You put them in and then see how they respond? I'm not sure. I don't know how, like, why would you have bulletproof glass around a pool table unless you wanted to see? I know there is a door there. I'm not sure what kind of shady stuff these guys are up to in this place. Quiet you. Both of yous. Um, now nah, we're alright for that. We've got level 6 military gloves on, so... Boom. Headshot. So we'll continue round. I think we'll just go do each floor. We'll clear each floor. And then, you know, we'll... Um... Whoa. Where did that cop come from? He was not there a minute ago. So I, I don't know how many zombies I've killed so far. We've killed 94 so far and we're not even on the... F we're on the first floor. We haven't even finished the first floor yet, so... Seems like there's a lot of zombies in this place. Oops. Missed him. Okay, well, he can hang about in there for a bit. Come on, wake up. Hey! Die. Why won't... Why won't the thing hit her? Uh-oh, he's a blower. Whew. I was thinking about letting him explode there, but... um, He was a bit close, so I decided to just kill him instead. Ooh, a recog. Yeah, we'll have one of them, definitely. Um, I know I'm like looting a few things. I said I wasn't gonna do that, but you know, why not? Might as well get some more water. Uh, well, we'll have a drink. That double kill there, that was nice. You've got two cubicles, and then you've got just three toilets here where people are gonna. Wow. I mean, these guys are liberal with their toilet arrangements. I 
missed that guy about eight times and then I got three headshots in a row. How does that work? Wake up. Hey, there's a load of... Whoa, there's a load of mines there. Okay, we'll let them kill themselves on the mines. Come on. I think the mines did more damage than ow. Oh damn the damn bloody stuff. Uh, I only came here just to get this ammo, basically. We don't need a club, we've got one of them. Uh alright. Uh is that yeah, that's a mine. Let's blow that up. Okay. We don't need that, but we'll open it anyway. Why not? Come on, open. Ooh, we've got a pickaxe. Okay, that might come in handy actually. We'll we'll take that. I didn't bring a pickaxe with me. Okay, so bird, you little bastard. Where have you... Oh, never mind. Oh, you son of a... Damn it. Okay. Hi. Second floor. I'm ready. Some water there. I'll have a bit of that. So, uh, keep yourself hydrated. It's always good. It's a good. It's a good rule in life is just to keep yourself hydrated, because you never know. You might get stuck in the desert. You might get stuck in a big lab full of zombies. Got no water. It's it's a thing that could happen. Oh yes, that was amazing. Double kill there. Double headshot. Blew his head off and oh, disappointing. His head remained. Oh well. Can't have everything. my hit accuracy is at the moment because it's probably not brilliant but because that was a miss right there I missed him completely 
Calm down. That was a miss. Whoa. Business dude. Okay, my, my hit accuracy is about 50% right now. Who's in here? Oh, more business guys. I'll shut that off for now. Whoa! Too radiated, bloody... Women there. Yeah, let's use a bit of uh, AK. Haven't used any of that yet. Ooh, that's a different colour. Why is that a different colour? Nope, nothing. Okay. It's always best to check though, you never know. Haven't used the magnum yet, let's get that out. Um, where's the magnum? There it is. Okay. Now we don't need any of that, let's go. Continue on. There's a cop. Boom. Headshot. Got a headshot on the, the cop, but I missed the the blue guy, the blue shirt guy. Let's open this up. This I feel like this might come in handy later, opening this place. Because um, when the zombies come in for the horde, they're going to need to find their way to me. I'm not sure if I should uh, do it from the from the bottom. From the if I start at the bottom floor and lead them upwards. Um. I don't know if that's the best way. I'm not sure what to do yet. We'll um, we'll figure that out as we... Oh, there's all that cobblestone there. I could use that. Mm, nah, we're not going to use that. We're not going to build anything. I think I think uh, when... In doing this... Um, in completing this thing, we're going to just run around. And we're not going to build a, a, a base or anything. Okay, so it's this way. It must be this way. Uh, all right. Hey! Damn you, bird. So... Okay. So, I feel... Yep, that must be the way. Nice. Um, there's some bullets down there. Let's go get that first. Right, uh, I think we need to. Basically, the thing's telling me to go there, isn't it? So, what we could do with is some wood to make some frames. I think this will be wood. Nope, that's that's not wood. Uh, there's a tree here, though. We'll make some frames and we'll, um, we'll pull our way up. We'll make 42 frames. Okay, let's go.
I think this is the the official way to go. It seems. What's wrong with stairs, Raya? Ladder? No. Just some tiny blocks on the side of a wall. You think that's enough? Okay. Fine. Okay, so we've got room two, room three, room four. Uh, oops. Surely that was a headshot there. And there. Okay, so these are like the test, these are the test rooms. Yeah, these are like patients. Are these the people that are getting tested for God knows what? Yeah, we'll take that. Um, yeah, you know what, we'll use that bandage because that can get our max health back up. I've just changed the sign to ah. It's a scary room that one. <laughs> Whoops. Um, <laughs> didn't mean to do that, but that's quite funny. Uh, no, we don't need any of that crap. I think we need to go around here because there's still loads of zombies around this way. We've killed 215 zombies. We're only on floor two and we've killed 215 zombies, so. Visitor's bedroom. Do all the visitors have to sleep in the same room? Because that's kind of odd. If you ask me. Yeah, my guy needs a drink, so let's have a bit of a drink. dead. Wow, the visitors have to sleep on bunk beds. All the guests get their own bedroom and the visitors get bunk beds. All in the same room. Wow. Dorm style. I mean, that's the kind of hospitality that Harbinger Labs gives you. Um, oh, and a tiny play zone for your child. Ooh, three grenades. Yeah, we'll use them. Uh, we don't need five iron. Right, 6 p.m. I feel like we're wasting time here, running around this area. We've been, we've been all around here. So let's, let's go up, up a level. This is number six, level six. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So we're in the, the stairwell now. Okay. Well, we'll open both them. You know, we want the zombies to come up.
Okay, so it's nearly eight. We are running a bit short on time, so I think we need to kind of step things up a bit. Let's get things moving. Little executive bathrooms here. Wait. I'm gonna let him blow. This is the way we're meant to go. Whoa, that's dangerous. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put a block there. No, I'm not. There's a zombie. Damn you, birds. God damn it. Uh, okay, fine. I'm gonna use one of them. Right, what was I doing? I really don't want to fall. Oh, crap. I was going to say, I don't want to fall out here. But actually, this isn't too bad. So I suppose we've got to go that way, yeah? Yeah, looks like it. Okay. Oh, crap. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, let's go. Huh? Oh. Okay, so on here. Yep. Bird. Damn you, bird. Whatever. Let's get inside. Oh dear, this looks bad. Yeah, this looks messed up in here. So is this what happens once you get past the corporate bullshit? They take your loved ones, put them in a cage and subject them to all kinds of weird stuff. Yep, that's what happens. Ooh, a sledgehammer. Is that a steel sledgehammer? Nice, I'll have that. in 11 minutes. I think we need to get a move on. If we're going to finish clearing this place, maybe we're not. I don't know. We're certainly not if we keep falling down like that. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Come on. Jump up. Dude, what the hell is going on with me? Okay, horde's coming in. Oh dear. These are like the like House of the Dead 2. You get to the top level. Like they've all become runners. Oh crap, okay. Come on. Let's go. Is 
See, I was worried about the horde, but I forgot that all the zombies are going to turn into runners as well. That's another thing that's not ideal. Look at these pods. What have they been doing in these pods, these crazy scientists? In the name of science. I think these guys are spawning in. Oh crap. I think these some of these zombies are actually you know what I'm gonna use one of these. Oh crap, I need to really Yeah, some of them they are spawning in. These are the the horde zombies. Yeah they are, okay, fine. Well if that's how it's gonna be, that's how it's gonna be. Okay, I think we need to get moving. Oh crap! There's they're just every everywhere I move. There's zombies spawning. Oh, what's in here? Oh, we've got an M60. Sweet. It's not something I was planning on using. But, you know, you can always try it. Right, I think we need to get to the top. I think we need to finish this, this POI. So I think, way well, that's that way. Okay, well, let's shut this door. Okay. So it seems like it's this way, so let's go this way then. stuff going on in here. There's a lot of zombies coming out of there. So. Heating up now. Okay, let's uh, go this way. You know what I do have is uh, some Molotovs. Let's uh, get those on the go. And the other thing I do have is one of these. Let's use this. Upstairs, it seems. It's the only way left. Let's go. Uh, shut this door. Yep, yeah, let's shut that door. Oh, damn you, goddamn bird. Okay. Way. So many birds. Oh god, there's a lot of mines there. Okay, let's um, try and use that. If I shoot these things, oh, that needs repaired. Okay, in fact, let's repair all my guns quickly.
Alright, well. Didn't blow up that much. There's a lot of loot in there by the looks of things. I'd definitely be interested in going in there if I was uh, in here for a, a normal game. But we're not. We're here to basically survive. I mean, they're not getting through right now, so I'm not sure if that's because they can't find a path to me or if it's because... Oh, hello. It's because they're spawning somewhere below me. I'm not sure. Let's see. Tell you what we could do is get rid of this block. I can hear a lot of zombies near me. Let's get rid of this. Okay, hi. Oh crap. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Shall we, shall we try and venture downstairs? I mean, I know it's a terrible idea, but it'll be fun, probably. So if we go down this way. Alright, let's go through this area. Are they just literally spawning everywhere around here? Is that what they're doing? We've got time for a drink, haven't we? Yeah. Oh yeah, they are. They're spawning all around. Oh, hello. Boom. Whoa, there's a massive bloody infected pig in there. Look at that thing. Uh, wow. Okay. Oh shit, it came out. It got out. Okay. Alright then. And there's more pigs. 
Did I miss a floor? I don't remember this. Chuck a few things. In fact, we've got a grenade, haven't we? We've got three grenades. Um, maybe I should use some grenades as well. I'm trying to find my way down. Let's uh, get rid of that and put that there. Run! Morning, at least. That's good. That's them all dead. Um, maybe. Wow. Well, that was a big horde, wasn't it? That was a cool POI. Um, I mean, obviously, if I was in a real game and I came across this place, I would spend a lot more time looting everything. Um, I mean, God knows how many zombies I've killed. 588 zombies. I mean, that's a lot of zombies for one POI. I mean, I did have a horde here, to be fair, so, you know, that's not really probably representative of the actual... Uh... Am I going to make this jump? Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah, they've got more zombies and birds spawning. In. This place is relentless. Well, we're going to get back downstairs, at least. I think. Or we're going to try, anyway. And then, um, oh, you son of a, okay, so yeah, uh, that was Harbinger Labs, uh, Harbinger or Harbinger, I'm not sure, maybe Raya can tell me, I'm sure she'll leave a comment, tell me what, how you're supposed to say it, I am a, not always good at pronunciations, So, you know, that's a thing, but I'm going to head down these stairs. I think we'll head back down right to the bottom, won't we, if we just keep going? Yeah, of course we will. There we go. Boom, we're back at the bottom. A sleeping dude. Oh, wait, hold on. This is like the bloody garage below and everything. Oh man, we haven't even looked at this place. Oh jeez. Oh crap. This is like the below, the, the underground garage. Maybe I was supposed to start here, I'm not sure. I went in the front door. Maybe I should have parked my car below and uh, done it that way. Well, we did it the way we did it. That's the way it is. Exits that way, let's go. Exit. Nope, exit. This way. Here we go. Exit. Boom. Whew. We made it. Alright, well that was intense. Um, well that was Harbinger Labs. Uh, I think the way around is this way. To the front. I mean, we didn't even use all our ammo. We've still got a lot of pistol ammo left. A lot of uh, AK ammo. I came in with a lot of ammo and we've used a lot of it, but you know, we've still got plenty. Um, and yeah, so there it is. That was cool. Uh, yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, thanks for that, uh, Raya. Thanks for making that POI. I know you've been working on it a long time. 
Uh, obviously, um, Alpha 19 comes out pretty soon, and I do think the POIs in Alpha 19, I think you're going to have to like remake them. Or not remake them, but like re. You've got to do something to them. I'm not exactly an expert at making POIs, so I'm not the person to speak to about this, but I've heard that you're going to have to re remodel them or do something to them to make them work for Alpha 19. So a lot of people have done a lot of work on these POIs and then they're going to have to do a lot more work uh, to make them work in Alpha 19. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Um, if you did, click the like button. Think about subscribing to my channel and also think about subscribing to Raya. She makes good videos and really good POIs. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you and goodbye.